right guys, welcome to another detailing video. Today we're gonna to be taking care of the plastics on my Gen 1 Raptor. Uh, I'm going to be using my favorite product for that, Solution Finish. Link in the description and a bunch of videos for uh, doing plastics and rubber. Uh, I'll also link those in the description as well. I've done a handful of different cars. The M3, the M5, the 3 Series, all kinds of different cars. The Jeep, I think I did it on that vehicle as well. Uh, this stuff is absolutely worth the money. This is one ounce and this has lasted me since I bought it. So it's been five to seven years and I still have product in here. I have another one I just bought just in case I run out. Uh, but this stuff is, is like triple the cost of the normal stuff you see online, the back to black or whatever it's called. But this is literally going to dye the plastics and keep them dark for a really long time. And uh, we're just gonna be doing that today. So let's do a quick little walk around. Obviously we'll do these things. These have seen better days. Actually they're not terrible, uh, but especially in here, you know, you can see. So I'm gonna try to pop these out maybe. Uh, we're gonna do this little area, which I might have done when I detailed the truck, when I did a paint correction. We are not going to be doing this because hopefully that still looks pretty fresh. I actually removed this and um, used solution finish on it about a year ago um, when I detailed the truck. I took it out so I could do a paint correction. So I just figured while those were out, I would take care of those. So we're not gonna do this. Definitely want to do the cowl. This thing has seen better days. Uh, a little funky, but not terrible. So it should come out pretty good. Uh, we'll just do the rubber along there. These, obviously, we'll do this whole area. And uh, unfortunately, this is actually uh, paint missing from Love Bug. So I'll get these resprayed at some point in the near future. Uh, definitely, this is really what bothers me more than anything is like, see how like splotchy looking the trim looks right here. It's really splotchy and then along here is a little funky. It's not quite as, as even and nice as uh, it could be. Uh, we're also going to be doing the door handle, so I don't know if that looks faded, but it is a little faded looking, especially once we get the product on there. Uh, what's actually nice is this is not gloss. I think actually the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 Raptors, they have gloss pillars, which scratch really easily. I actually kind of like having the uh, the, the this kind of uh, plastic material over the painted like shadow line stuff. So we're gonna do this whole thing, this, and then we get back here. Um, this is metal, so we're gonna leave uh, this alone and then we're going to probably leave this liner, the rolling lock, I actually, I actually really like this. This was uh, put on the truck before I bought it, but we're gonna do this side uh, bed whatever, this uh, black plastic here, and I will also probably do this piece. So we'll kind of do these top areas, especially the line of vision. <laughs> the truck's pretty big, like my, my eye line is just a hair above this. So when you walk up to it, you see this uh, plastic. Uh, it doesn't look so good. So All right, first step, some isopropyl alcohol, or you can use something like Gion Prep or Car Pro Eraser, anything isopropyl alcohol based. Uh, you want to dilute this, so I actually have a little bit of water in here. This says 91%, but anything like that you can use. And then you just want to clean up the surface. So get dirt off, get any sort of residue off, prep it so the solution finish can stick. Um, so this truck has a little bit of kind of dust and stuff on it, so I'll definitely clean that up. And then see how this evaporates kind of instantly? That makes it pretty easy once you do your wipe on it, and then you can get the product on. This reflector's a little sun faded, so maybe I'll replace that soon as well. I'd actually like a clear one or a uh, red one, because it'll kind of go with the uh, red paint, maybe match a little nicer, so in the future. All right, we're ready to apply solution finish gloves. I use one of these, a little suede applicator. You can also use a shop towel, but since we're doing such a large vehicle, I figure these are gonna be a little more durable, and uh, it's probably worth using one for this truck. I'll just put, hopefully you can see that here, here. I'll do two. See how this goes, two, two, uh, two big dots there. 
And uh, one thing I will say is if you do get this on the paint, just kind of buff it off. I've never really had any very negative experiences with getting it on the paint. If you let it sit in the sun on the paint, it'll be kind of crusty and you'll have to mess with it and get it off with some Gion Prep or something. But other than that, it's actually a little more forgiving on the paint than you'd think. So just kind of like to use the kind of the two finger method. A little goes a long way, guys. You'd be surprised. Um, I know you really want it nice and deep, black, restored. Um, but just let the product work on its own. You don't need to just load it up because then it'll get all funky and then when you wash the car it won't look right. It'll streak and stuff. So spread it around. Alright, let's go for it with whatever's remaining on this little micro, this little applicator here, just to see how far. Yeah. There we go. That's that's what real detailing's all about, is making sure that, which no one will see, is done. This. Running low, it's okay. video here I have a few more spots to do but you kind of get the picture you've probably seen a few videos of the solution finish on my channel before if you haven't go check them out links are in the description products are in the description I really appreciate you guys watching supporting uh, buying the Lux angel eyes and the products and the solution finish stuff definitely helps the channel and even just viewing the channel in general definitely helps as well so I do appreciate it and uh, we're getting the Raptor dialed in we're getting the plastics done. I think from an aesthetic point of view, I'd like to get the mirrors refinished and also this lower uh, painted part of the bumper refinished as well and then probably just PPF'd because it's a little weaker than the metal um, parts of the vehicle. So uh, we'll also get some touch up paint. So we're gonna be doing small things here and there. Already did Fuse 27, already did a few other things. Oh, I wanna do a mid-perch mount, so if you are a Raptor fan, uh, I will try to do mid-perch myself. Uh, it is doable, but it is a little bit, uh, it's never, it's something I haven't done before, so I don't know how that'll go. But anyways, links in the description. Thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, if I forgot anything, you need any clarifications, comment below, I'll try to help you. And my email's in the description, too, if you wanna talk a little bit more in detail. And I will see you guys next time.